Take that, you scoundrels! Oleg oh, like, shakes his fist. But now... He scratches his head and stares at the ground gloomily. The girl got away. A plague on her. She's certain to complain to the stag lord. They came before to collect taxes. This time they'll come to punish treason. Treason. Now what are we to do? He sighs heavily. If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe and show those rats what's what. Oh. He notices a fair-haired woman approach. Dove! Why are you here? I told you to stay hidden. It's all over. I saw it. I just needed to be sure you were alright. The woman looks at her husband tenderly if, with a scent of sorrow. Oleg mumbles something as he looks away, embarrassed. My name is Svetlana. I'm sorry your arrival to our trading post turned out so unwelcoming. Let's get to the point. You say the bands are going to attack again. Who are they and when will they arrive? Who are they? They're the Stag Lord's gang, that's who. These lands teem with bandits like bedbugs in a beggar's hut, and you just stirred them up. They have a camp not far from here. I expect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. The Stag Lord won't take an insult like this slightly, and his henchmen are more like demons than men. I'll help you. I'm not really interested in your pose, but I never back down from a good fight. Well, thanks, I, I guess. Might even be able to scrape some sort of reward together for you if you manage to defend the post. We have to hide, Svetlana. Please don't argue, Dove. Now, we also need to hide on, um, decide on a plan. And go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used for the battle. There's some pretty solid traps around. Some tar and a box of Alchemist's Fire, looks like. Alchemist's Fire. We could put it by the gate and light it off with a burning arrow when those bandits are nearby. But that would set the post on fire. Oleg shouts, surprised. Well, maybe if we covered the walls with something to protect them. Alright, yes, I think it could work. I'll even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be pretty good with a crossbow back in my day. Alright, I'm prepared for the attack. Get in your positions and wait. Fear not, I'll stand between you and this scum. You're under my protection. Finally, a fight. I was bored with all that talking. Well, these aren't the heroics I was hoping to write about, but I guess even the greatest heroes had to start somewhere. I see you're not easily cowed. I beg you, be careful, and please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Svetlana, go in, go hide inside, and we're gonna go meet our guest. Nice! That guy can run! Well... This may not go like I thought it would. Bombs away! Alright, that was pretty good. I actually like that ability. These guys are actually moving forward after witnessing that explosion. These madmen. Serves you right. Okay, please, please don't miss anymore. He's about dead.
Is he dead? Please tell me he's not dead, dead. I think he's dead. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, this guy has help. You deserved it. Ooh. Ooh, he, he exploded. Oh. Oh, he's alive. Take a look at my arm and stuff. Uh, armor and shields. Light armor. Arcane spell failure chance 20. What is this? Cloak of Resistance. Racers of Armor. She has a ring that prevents her from dying and teleports to a safe location should she fall in battle. Can I take this off? No, I cannot. Your rats got what you deserve. Now they know better than to treat honest people like cattle. We should call Bo a Boken now before he freezes in those bushes. Now, my lord, head on up to the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to 
clean things up. And this is for your efforts. Now, don't offend me by trying to turn it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be so much better. All right. Oh, it's a cat. I'm sorry. I'm listening. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. I'll take that. Take that. You wake up from a nasty dream that tortured you all night long. In it, you saw a wall of unnaturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out the windows, and you find that the fog was not a figment of your imagination. Not a dream. And then... Hear me. Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. It seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Beauty is so tender. It can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. What do you want from me? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. The Stag Lord is responsible for the fog. Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. How can I help you? This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house, and it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo, catch the whispers, search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again, and you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. All right, I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. How close are we to level 3? We're not that close at all.
Or would they do stealth? Maybe not. Oh, this is the alignment chart and stuff. I'm leaning more towards chaotic good as uh, as I go about. Hmm, Marshall. Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the Stolen Lands? You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Who are you? Honorial Eight Eyes. Once upon a time, I was famous throughout Absalom. Honorial Eight Eyes of the Re Reckless Six. Well, glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, and no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. What are you doing here? I sit here waiting for adventurers who are in need of help. We may be sitting here in a backwards tavern, but in Absalom, I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have brave hearts, but shallow pockets. A little gold would be a welcome change for them. I can send them a message, and they will come from Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign, and I'll arrange everything right away. Alright. Also, I can summon the tutors from the Pathfinder Society, who can retrain you and your companions. They're quite willing to do this for free. The first three times you request their services, after that, the price for retraining will gradually increase, such as their way of doing business with all new clients. 2,000 gold pieces! Well, let me think about that. <laughs> Would you like to join me? Uh, no. I've got enough things to do already. You better manage it on your own. Let's go talk to this guy. Oleg, where's Oleg? There he is. No, that's Boken. Here's Oleg. Greetings! You certainly ruffled those villains' fe feathers. Well, anyway, new day, new troubles. Have you seen the fog? Never seen anything like it before. The road to Restov looks like someone spilled milk and just hung in the air. I couldn't see anything through that soup, not even with a torch. Feels like witchcraft to me. I bet the stag lord's involved somehow. Rumors say he deals with all kinds of bad magic. Show me where is Oleg. I got I'll hold on to these for now. What do you have the sale? So, masterwork stuff. Masterwork light crossbow. Orc Double Axe, Punishing Dagger, Size, dude, they got so many, so many weapons here.
Bag of holding! We do not have enough for a bag of holding. I wish we did. That full plate. Huh. Two bladed sword. We'll wait for now. See what we can get our hands on later. <laughs> 